How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video of the course. Now I'm going to be covering two types of chocks, the bearish chalk and a bullish chalk. Now let's start with bearish chalk. When do you look for a bearish chalk? Typically you look for a bearish chalk when we're approaching a higher time frame zone and we're reacting off of it so you want to see a change of character from bullish order flow to bearish. Essentially this is when you look for a bearish chalk. Now a bearish chalk looks exactly like this. You see the high being taken out first and then the low. The reason being is when you have a high being taken out first, that breaks this high, right? And then when you have the low being taken out, this creates a lower low. Now when price creates a lower low, conceptually speaking, this high should be protected because this is a strong high that has created a lower low. Thus, if we took a trade off of here, this high should not be broken if price is going to continue being bearish, right? That's the main reason why a chalk for bearish, a bearish chalk essentially looks like this. So that's basically a bearish chalk. You want to see the high being taken out and then the low being taken out. Then you have a bullish chalk. A bullish chalk is when you're approaching a basically a demand zone and you want to see price sort of change character from bearish order flow to bullish order flow. So you see the low being taken out and then the high. Because this high has basically created a higher high, this low is protected, which is why you can essentially take an order here or here. Maybe this could be the decisional, this could be the extreme. The main reason being, again, same thing, is that because this leg has created a higher high, this low is protected. It's a strong low because it has created a higher high. Thus, it should not break this point if we're going to continue bullish. So that's basically what a bearish shock is and a bullish shock is. Now, let's have a look at what these chocks look like in the live chart. Right, guys, so if we look at a, you know, example that just basically happened on EU, we had a high time frame zone here. If we drop to the five minutes, I'm using the five minutes so that you understand it and it looks a lot more clearer. So in this case, we had essentially we had a high being taken out, right? And then we had a new low being created over here. Now, essentially, this means that let's mark it up you've got this point so you've got a chalk top and you've got a chalk here right now obviously on the five minute looks like wicks if you drop down to the two minute you can see it is most likely full candles yep one minute is full candles main reason why i'm using five minutes looked a lot clearer this is probably what i would have marked up because this was what that this was the real one that actually swiped quite a bit of highs here so you have a high being taken out and then you have the low being taken out and then you have a decisional zone here and if you sort of go up you can see that the extreme would maybe be this one because there's no imbalance over here whatsoever there is literally almost nothing here so this wouldn't have been valid either so you essentially have high being taken out low being taken out and that's your bearish chalk right so let's have a look at maybe a bullish chalk Right guys, so if we look for a bullish chalk in this example, I'm not going to cover entries or anything. I did show one uh, above obviously for the bearish chalk, but I'm not going to cover in depth because we have an entries video. But you can see how we have a high here and we have a low here. That's one leg, right? And if we mark up the chalk here, it would basically look like this. So we have a chalk bot and we have a chalk, oops, chalk top. So we've basically got our chocks over here, right? That confirms that we have changed character. So we swipe the low first, swipe the high. Technically speaking, you would see an entry here or somewhere along the lines on the way up. So yeah, guys, that's just, you know, a live example of what chocks look like. I tend to use this a lot because it's just easier to see it. Like you look at it once, you know, okay, yeah, this will be a valid chalk point to mark up. 